Morning prayer on Monday the 1st of June, the visit of the Blessed Virgin Mary to Elizabeth. <coughs> o Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but, but as grass. We flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone. And its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from old. And endures for ever on those who fear him. And his righteousness on children's children. On those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 85 Lord, you were gracious to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the offences of your people and covered all their sins. You laid aside all your fury, and turned from your wrathful indignation. Restore us again, O God our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you stretch out your wrath from one generation to another? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? <clears throat> Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God will say. For he shall speak peace to his people and to the faithful, that they turn not again to folly. Truly his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give all that is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and direct his steps in the way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and brothers and sisters are outside, asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister. And mother. Do 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with your own all, all your heart. And be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with your all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In the womb of Mary you found a dwelling place on earth, O Christ. Remain forever in our hearts. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In the womb of Mary you found a dwelling place on earth, O Christ. Remain forever in our hearts. Let us pray. We pray for the gift of this new day to the task we are to undertake, to the meetings we shall have, and the prayers that we shall offer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church of, in this country, especially for the parishes of Tangmere and Oving. May those churches have life in this place, empowered by the Spirit, emboldened by the Spirit, and trusting in the Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Pray for all of those involved in farming in this area. the fruit farmers, the pepper farmers, and for all involved in farming for the food that we have on our tables. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray particularly today for all ambulance crews. May they be kept safe free from abuse, knowing that they are carrying out good work in the community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are not working at this time, either furloughed or unemployed. Give them hope and courage that when this situation is ended, that they may find employment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mighty God, by whose grace Elizabeth rejoiced with Mary and greeted her as the mother of the Lord, look with favour on your lowly servants, that with Mary we may magnify your holy name and rejoice to acclaim her, her Son, our Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 
harm him. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.